Hi folks, we're working with Timeless Corners today. Um, the question often arises, what do you do if your property is not square? Um, timeless Corners are designed to be on a 90. So our solution for this, because we fence a lot of places that are not square, is we use hinges. Um, these hinges, they're relatively cheap. Um, about every corner on this place uh, is not a, not a perfect 90. So we're going to attach our uh, hinge at right above our 30 inch mark. That's where we set the post on a 7 foot uh, corner. So we're going to mark 30 inches, we're going to put the hinge above it, and it matters how you mount the hinge. So I'm going to take you through the process, show you how it works. So our hole's going to be 30 inches deep. I'm going to take and mark our post for 30 inches. And that's going to be the line of the ground roughly. So this is the way they're supposed to be bolted together. A 90 degree, one direction going that way, one direction going that way. Now what we have here is, and we got one going this way, and the other one is actually going to be facing this way. Um, it's not going to be a 90, it's going to be more of a of a split like this. So, I'm going to put the hinge on the back side of these two, right here. That way I can shut it to a full 90 or open it as much as I want. So, one side of the hinge is going to go in here, the other side of the hinge is going to go in here. That's going to hold the post together while we set it in concrete. Once it gets all wired together, um, set it in concrete, it's not going to go anywhere, but the hinge does help hold these two together. So we're going to place our hinges here and one at the top so that we can open this 90 up into a different angle. Now, if you were needing to go the other direction, you would want to put your hinge on the inside and would have a small gap in between it. Uh, that way you could take and, and turn it different angles. Um, this is the way that we found is best for opening the 90 up, uh, which is what we have to do on this hole. All right, folks, we have our hinges bolted on to our corner. And what we're going to do, we have our end line uh, pin down there with a post. Our other line is down this way. And what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to turn this slightly and open those hinges in order to get the correct line of sight to our pin.
So as you can see, there's a gap here between these two. The hinge, which I'll show you here in a minute on the back side. This is our two lines. One's going this way, one's going this way, so it's not a 90. And these hinges help keep it in place while we're setting the post. Now once the uh, concrete's set up, the bottom's not going to go anywhere. Once we run the wires through and, and tighten it all, it's going to be there. But the hinges help hold it in place. If not, we'd have to be sitting here while somebody dumps in the concrete, trying to hold it, it'd be moving. If you were going the other direction, you would have to put the hinge on the inside. That's how we're doing a, an outside. The hinge goes on the outside. If you're going to the inside, making your your corner more narrower, you put the hinge on the inside. All right, folks. Wind's blowing pretty bad, but just want to take and show us to you. This is why we put the hinges on there because this is not a 90. So if you have a property that is not a, a perfect square, you can put a hinge on these timeless posts and stick it in the hole and turn them according to the line. Now if you have strings up, if you don't have that big of a property, we're shooting about a quarter of a mile back that way and another quarter of a mile that way so we're using a scope but if you have a line you can just turn it to the line if you have a, a pin back behind your corner where you can pull a string along your fence line just turn turn your corner on each side to your string and you're good to go if not we just put a scope on top of it and we shoot towards our other line which is way down there a quarter of a mile so this is how we stabilize a corner that is not a 90. works really well these are about 3.99 bolts are about 20 cents a piece perfect little fix all right folks here we are again with a timeless corner on this same property. Uh, it's not exactly square. And this time we want to make our corner tighter instead of wider. So we're going to put our hinges to the inside of our corner instead of bolting straight through. So I'm going to get out the tools, drill these holes, bolt it up. I want to bolt it to this one first. Uh, I'm going to mark my holes. It's got to set. I want it to set exactly square. Where my hinge will fit. I'm going to drill these holes. Get it set up to get put in the ground. Using a carriage bolt with a wide head and using the hinge as the washer, you really don't need any washers. Just tighten it up and it's good to go. You'll make sure you drill out your hole big enough that when you're slipping your bolt in uh, that you can get it all the way in. You could use a shorter bolt, but the smaller things are, the harder they are to, to control and handle. These are a soft metal bolt. I just got a pair of pliers. And you can do it with a pair of vice grips or an adjustable wrench. Move them back and forth. They break off pretty easy. This will allow you to turn the 
corner in if it needs to go in much more than that you don't need a corner all right folks if you have a, a property that is not square uh, this is the way we've been doing it it works really well it's going to help you stabilize these corners while you're putting them together you can still put them in the same hole both of your corner posts they're connected so it gives your fence a little bit more stability and it's just going to help you when you're when you're sitting that corner to be able to maneuver it if you've got strings up you're going to be even better because then you can just pull it to the strings and the strings are a, a perimeter for you to make sure that you're square we have a quarter mile fence here so we have to use a scope but that's basically it just a little bitty three dollar hinge from any hardware store a few bolts it's going to help you fence that property that's not exactly square.